Hello friends, Donald Trump has imposed a tariff, in fact a double tariff on India in retaliation against the import of Russian oil. And this is not just a talking point in India, it has created a global sensation. The whole world is now watching to see how India will respond to this move. And right after Trump's announcement, India made a major announcement. Now India is planning to increase the ethanol content in the petrol we import. One after another, big updates are pouring in about India's energy sector. Especially now everybody is so curious about India's hydrogen fuel plants. The future energy superpower. Right now India may have to depend on Arab nations, Russia and the United States for petroleum products. A big share of our foreign exchange reserves is spent on petroleum imports. Whenever a war breaks out somewhere, oil prices spike and we feel the shock here in India. The price of essential goods in India also depends heavily on petroleum prices. Yet, despite all these challenges, India has a chance to become energy superpower of the future. And we are already taking necessary steps in this regard. Friends, we are talking about Green Hydrogen Mission. India is moving fast to conquer this new Green Hydrogen Fortress and take control of it. If we master this fuel, this new source of energy and achieve dominance, India will only see victory. Why? Because Green Hydrogen has zero carbon emissions, meaning zero air pollution. It will also make India self-reliant in energy. We will save huge amounts of foreign exchange. Just like Arab nations became super rich by drilling oil from the desert, India could become wealthy through green hydrogen. But there is one condition. We must conquer this fortress before anyone else. And here is the interesting part. India has a bigger chance than other nations to win this race. So friends, in this report, we are going to understand everything about Green Hydrogen Mission. So first, let's understand what Green Hydrogen actually is. What is Green Hydrogen? Friends, to make hydrogen, you need three things. Water, organic waste, Electricity. You might ask electricity itself is a form of energy. So why use a form of energy to use create another form of energy or green hydrogen fuel? So let's make it clear. We said you need electricity, water and organic waste to make hydrogen. But for it to be called green hydrogen, the electricity used in the process must also come from green hydrogen. That means it should be from renewable sources like solar power, wind energy, geothermal energy, tidal energy, which is energy from sea waves. These kind of renewable sources it should come from. The process works like this. Electricity from renewable sources is passed into water. Through a method called electrolysis, water is split into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is then collected and stored for use. But if the electricity used here comes from coal or petroleum, then it is not green hydrogen. It is called grey hydrogen, blue hydrogen or black hydrogen depending on the source of the electricity. Why green hydrogen is the future? Friends, vehicle running on hydrogen fuel produce no smoke at all. From the exhaust pipe, you will see only water vapor. That is its biggest plus point, its selling point, its future. This entire process happens not inside the car. I mean, all these process I explained just now of producing green hydrogen, everything of this process doesn't happen inside the car or any vehicle. But in a green hydrogen production plant, it happens. After the production of green hydrogen, it is stored in hydrogen fuel stations, just like petrol pumps. In the car, there is a fuel cell device that converts hydrogen into electricity. The car then runs like an electric vehicle or EV. Now you may wonder, that first question, if this process involves electricity, if you need electricity to create green hydrogen, what is the point? You can directly use electricity and run cars, right? That question arises. Why not directly charge EV batteries with electricity instead of making hydrogen? After all, EVs are already here. This tech is now maturing. 
Why? Why change now? Friends, here is why. Hydrogen vehicles have several advantages over electric vehicles and even more for big cars or trucks. In hydrogen cars, even with the hydrogen tank, fuel cell and a small backup battery, the total weight is 30 to 50 percent lesser than an average EV battery. Range with just 5.5 kgs of green hydrogen, a car can travel up to 600 kilometers. Yes, you heard that right, 600 kilometers with just 5.5 kgs of hydrogen. What is India doing? Friends, in 2023, India launched the National Green Energy Mission. Initially, the plan was to spend 3000 crore just on developing green hydrogen production technology. But now, in the early stage itself, the government has proposed incentives worth 17,490 crore rupees or more than 2 billion dollars. This means companies producing green hydrogen and electrolyzer devices needed for its production will get financial support from the Indian government. The goal is to spend this amount within the next five years by 2030. Private companies have already entered this race. Reliance Industries Limited, Mukesh Ambani, is building a green energy giga complex in Jamnagar, Gujarat. It will have renewable power generation of 100 gigawatts for green hydrogen production. With Adani Group, Adani New Industries Limited, in partnership with Total Energies, has signed a 4.3 lakh crore deal to build world's largest green hydrogen ecosystem. Friends, this is big. 4.3 lakh crore rupees means it is more than 44 billion dollars. They have already started blending 2.2 to 2.3% of green hydrogen into PNG piped natural gas in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Next, Tata Power, JSW Energy, l &T, all investing thousands of crores in green hydrogen. Government companies are not behind either. IOCL built India's first green hydrogen plant at its Mathura refinery. NTPC, ONGC, Gale, BPCL all launching multiple projects. And even green hydrogen buses are on the roads. Under the National Green Hydrogen Mission, buses are already running on the Bhuvaneshwar Puri road in Odisha. Okay, all good. But now, why India thinks it can be the king in green hydrogen? Why not other countries? Why India thinks it has advantage? Just like Saudi Arabia is the king in petroleum, India believes it can be the king in green hydrogen, friends. Because producing renewable, clean electricity cheaply is possible only in few countries. And India is one of them. Compared to the US, EU or Australia, the cost of electricity production is lower in India. Remember, India is a founder of the International Solar Alliance. India is already a leading and emerging player in solar energy. We have the capacity for large-scale solar production. Investment-ready companies, infrastructure and skilled manpower, everything is available in India abundantly. Plus, there is strong demand for green hydrogen in India itself. This gives India a strong lead in the global race. The challenges. But the competition is still there. Australia is also pushing hard to control green hydrogen. Just like us, they are also putting all the efforts. Half of the world's green hydrogen projects are already happening in Australia. They are putting a lot of money and energy into innovation in this. Then there are technical challenges as well. In buses, the technology is already working. But for cars and commercial vehicles, it is still in the development stage. Yes, you may have seen Nitin Gadkari driving Toyota-made uh, hydrogen car. But it is still not a mass market product yet. Hydrogen is highly flammable. So safety in storage and vehicle components is very critical. Green hydrogen can be cheaper than petroleum in the long run. But hydrogen vehicles are still costlier than EVs right now. Mass adoption will take time. Prices can come down only when production scales up and adoption is at a higher rate. Globally, efforts are being made to cut hydrogen prices. In the United States, previous President Joe Biden had a 1-1-1 plan. Meaning, next one decade, the price of 1 kg green hydrogen should be only $1. That's about the same as the current price of diesel in India. If that happened, 5.5 kg, costing roughly 450 rupees at current prices, or about $5 worth of hydrogen, could take you 600 kilometers. 
but under Trump's administration now, things are being reversed. Trump has no focus on green energy or climate change. He doesn't care. He has given new slogan, drill baby drill. He wants American oil companies to drill everywhere possible in America and take out oil and run their vehicles on fossil fuel. But ironically, this may help countries like India because while Trump keeps backing oil, India can speed up its focus on hydrogen. Trump's tariff, India's opportunity. At a time when Trump is trying to pressure India over buying fuel from Russia, we have a golden opportunity to accelerate our green hydrogen mission. Friends, what do you think on this? Please let us know your opinion on the comment section below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and especially please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Let's meet again. Namaste.